Hello everyone and welcome to the presentation of the article Twitter Arabic Dialect Identification Using Arabert written by me, Ahmed Belfagi, with the cooperation of my supervisor Vlado Kisseli. We are from Dalhousie University in Halifax in Canada and it is our pleasure to participate in the 39 EBIMA conference. In terms to understand the importance of my article, let me give you a brief introduction and some facts about Arabic language. Arabic language is the most spoken Semitic language and one of the most widely spoken languages in the world. And there are more than 467 million people all over the world speak Arabic. It is ranked the fifth widely spoken language in terms of the most widespread languages globally. And it is the fourth language in terms of the number of the users on the internet. The Arabic language, it is important to Muslims because it is a sacred language as it is the language of the holy book of Muslims, the Quran. And it is the official language in all countries in the Arab world, which are the countries that politically belong to the Arab League, in addition to some other countries like Chad, Eritrea, and Israel. Arabic language is originally came from the Arabian Peninsula, and the classical Arabic or the Arabic standard dialect is originally a dialect of just one Arabian tribe in the Arabian Peninsula called Quraysh. There are so many factors that contributed to the formation of different Arabic dialects. The most important is the Arab immigration after the spread of Islam and the expansion of the Rashidun Empire outside the Arabian Peninsula, which is the mainland of Arab. Then the people in the new lands start to speak and learn Arabic and there where the different dialects came from. Arabic dialect can be classified by countries or by cities but here I proposed this map which I create to classify the Arabic dialects based on regions and sub-regions by the understanding of the geographical location and the historical aspects, words and sound similarities and the strong influence by other nations whether they were the native nation of that land before the Arab expansion or the foreign country that colonized these lands among the history. What made us interested in this topic was our participation in Nadi Shared Task that targets province level dialects and as such will be the first to focus on naturally occurring fine grain dialects at the sub-country level. The data covers a total of 100 provinces from all 21 Arab countries and come from Twitter. Evaluation and task setup follow the Madar 2019 shared task. Participants also be provided with an additional 10 million unlabeled tweets and the evaluation metrics was including precision, recall, F-score and accuracy and micro-averaged F-score was the official metric. Here are the details of the datasets that we got from Nadi Share Task 2020 and Nadi Share Task 2021. And based on the shared tasks, 
the data sets that we have they are classified on the country level so we have 21 classes or on the provinces level so we have 100 classes and we have our results based on this challenge but our proposal for the future studies we want to change that to our proposed methodology and have just four classes for regions level and 26 classes based on the sub regions level and see if there is an improvement in our results so for the total of the label tweet we have uh, 52,000 labeled tweet and over 20 million unlabeled tweet that's uh, the total of the uh, all tweets in our data sets so the methodology that we follow we started with cleaning the label tweets that we have and after that we generate engrams and applied the stop words filtering and also we build dictionaries of stop words and engram for each country and province we have and then we apply the Arabert and Arabert is an Arabic pre-trained language model based on Google's BERT architecture Arabert uses the same BERT base configuration so the model was trained on 70 million sentences or 23 gigabyte of Arabic text with 3 billion words so here is our preliminary results that based on the country level challenge and the best performance was obtained in Egypt then Iraq then Algeria then Saudi Arabia which are the most prevalent samples in the training sets similarly the countries with a smaller number of training samples demonstrated lower accuracy and also the best results was on the development set also we are sharing two confusion matrices of two subsets of arab countries we found the big influence of algerian dialect on the maghrib region on the west of the uh, arab speaking world the iraq dialect over orient region and saudi arabia on arabia region and there is a bigger influence of egyptian dialect over all countries also from the confusion matrix we can realize the influence of the big countries on its neighbors for example the kingdom of saudi arabia with kuwait uh, the correlation is higher also egypt with sudan because it is uh, egypt neighbor there is a higher correlation than other countries complete our study we have some idea we are working on right now so we are developing a specific dictionary for each proposed region from many sources also we are trying to increase more tweets in small classes in country level or in the sub region level for training to make the data more balanced also we want to apply another pre-trained feature embedding like the Arabic and the R word Vic at the end we want to conclude that we presented a methodology for Arabic dialect detection we experimented with more traditional method involving probabilistics um, such as uh, SVM support vector machine or random forest and uh, logistic uh, regression as well as model with embedding representation which was trained on large external Arabic corpus additionally the language model was fine-tuned about 40 percent of 10 million tweets provided by uh, the nadi shared task due to the time 
um, we didn't use the rest of 60%, which uh, means there is still room for improvement. We laid out some important points and finding uh, in the results and discussion section in my report. Uh, the training subset is very unbalanced and that was reflected in the results. Also, the model demonstrated better performance on dialect with more training samples, while fewer common dialects were affected negatively. One of the future considerations is to expand the training subsets for under-resourced dialects. This can be done in increments where the model potentially identifies a language. The uh, assigned label is manually corrected and the model is further fine-tuned with the corrected data. Another observation is that this ambiguation between some dialects is harder than between others. One can consider uh, developing a hierarchical model con consisting of many specialized model of each subregion. Thank you so much for your attention.